I think when I was a kid watching corn at Woodstock and seeing the, the crazy wave, that like burned into my brain. So when I see that at our shows, I'm just like, yes, this is, this is like everything I hoped for and like what our shows could be, so. Uh, top three concerts that I've been to, it's really, really tough. Uh, I think Rob Zombie on Mayhem in 2015, we were on that tour, and that might be my favorite just because we watched it like every single day. In every, it was like every single song was a whole new landscape of amazing visuals. Uh, so that's probably number one, and then after that would be Taylor Swift, uh, the Eras tour, and then tied between Muse and Rammstein. Downtown activities are my favorite thing ever is to just go on long walks with music in. Uh, I'm just obsessed with like listening to anything new or my favorites and just walking around for hours, especially of course if it's nice outside, I like the heat so. I'll just walk and walk and walk and kind of just, that's where my brain gets the most ideas that I have. So that's number one. And then the others are just, uh, you know, I play video games with my friends, Warzone, all the usual games and stuff. So Warzone's cool. Um, and then I like going to the movies a lot, that and just watching shows on Netflix and all the other streaming sites. The last movie I've seen in theaters Oh yeah, I think the last movie I saw was the Super Mario Brothers movie, which was, it was pretty cool. Felt really nostalgic and like, I loved all the Easter eggs that made me feel like a kid again. So it was really cool. Top three brands, I feel like I have to like pick a category because I can't like, it's weird to do like clothes, food, something else. Uh, so I felt like, let's go with food, because I love food. So top top three food brands. I like uh, Nespresso. I got a Nespresso machine. Uh, so I, you know, wake up and directly dive into my lattes or espresso shots. Um, Impossible, the brand Impossible. I, they're, I'm vegan, so they are like the best thing to happen to uh, vegan plant-based life in a while. The burgers are amazing. Even if you like meat, try Impossible. Uh, and then Coca-Cola because they have given all of us the gift of vanilla Coke. Top three singers would be Ben from Breaking Benjamin, uh, <clears throat> Taylor Swift, apparently, yeah, uh, and then it's it's a it's a huge tie for top three, but uh, I'll go with Gavin Rosdale from Bush. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. Top three TV streaming series is literally impossible to pick a second and third. The Office is absolutely number one, as everyone knows. Um, there have been so many amazing shows in the last while; it's impossible to pick. I liked. Mr. Robot, Dexter, uh, Black Mirror, The Rehearsal, Queen's Gambit. There's, there's, it's, it's impossible. The Boys is a new one that's amazing. Hannibal, Cruel Summer, there's just, yeah, it's just Im impossible. But I'll, I'll definitely give you that The Office and Mr. Robot are in the top three. Stop giving me such hard questions. Favorite is, of course, Scoring the End of the World, the new one. Um, disguise is second. And then I flip-flop on the third one all the time. I think Creatures. I like the other ones, but I think Creatures just because of like what it means now all these years later. Uh, certainly a lot of things I wish I didn't do or would change, but for what it is, I'll say that. Love that. Definitely one of my favorite questions here. Top three things for fans. Uh, Sing-alongs, absolutely. Um, I feel like this is a great chance for me to, to describe why some people might see videos of me popping my in-ears out constantly through our set. Half of it is that I can't stand screaming with in-ears in. I just 
I hate it. It takes the show away from me. Like I like the live feel, but it's also because I just like to hear the crowd. Like in ears take away hearing the crowd. We we have crowd mics, but it's just not the same. Anyone who uses in ears could probably attest to that. But uh, sing alongs amazing. Um, and then I guess like general energy, like I love when I ask the crowd to jump up and down and it's just a wave of people. Um, I think when I was a kid watching Corn at Woodstock and seeing the, the crazy wave, that like burned into my brain. So when I see that at our shows, I'm just like, yes, this is, this is like everything I hope for and like what our shows could be. So I'll just, I'll stick with those two, which of course are the main two for anybody. Uh, things I can't live without are, of course, my phone and MacBook. I do all, all my work on both of those devices. I would say coffee and Red Bull uh, or just any caffeinated thing. But of course, you know, I'm a gigantic water snob. So like uh, specific waters. I'm not, I'm not a diva about much, though. Maybe some of the guys in the band would say otherwise. I don't, I don't know what about, but water. It's gotta be specific. It's gotta be like Liquid Death or Evian or Fiji or like something something that's just not, you know, your great value Walmart brand. So there's that. And then I would say probably Uber, the Uber Eats app. I shamefully order more stuff on Uber Eats than I think the average human does because I want, I don't want the scraps of catering every day or like the kind of shot vegan stuff that we get provided sometimes i want what i want so uber eats has been great this trip in europe uh i don't know what happened but it's like the vegan plant-based world exploded in europe and uber eats is pretty much everywhere so it's really helped me to like not you know starve to death from not be able to find stuff so it's great yeah those are the things there's four Uh, I am so excited to see Electric Cowboy today. Uh, it's my first time seeing them and I'm, I'm gonna lose my shit for Hypa Hypa. Um, let's see, Hatebreed, I'd say they're the they're like the gym workout band for me. They've always like hyped me up. So Hatebreed would be number two. And tie between Papa Roach and Straight From The Path. Thank you.